videos, you may be wondering why do you have that thing there. Well, I was filming a video of a story time. Ten minutes later, I realized it's not even the right story I wanted to tell you guys, so I didn't leave that footage. I almost stuck in my nose. me almost possibly maybe a little dying but yeah let's get into this so oh that was the right story that I was telling you guys yeah so about three months ago someone hit my mom's car parked out in front of our house two days before Christmas and totally Insert pictures, but it shows pictures of their license plate, our license plate, and the person behind us is license plate. So unfortunately, I can't show you the page for that. But I will just say that one, the driver was under age. Okay, he was just kidding. He was under age, but he didn't have any license. transportation object okay and so we knew that we would have to get rides or walk now my mom is a steak and shake worker no promo and not sponsored by the way and I mean steak and shake is I looked the um, mile rate up on Google yesterday 27 miles from here to there so, we can't walk that without her getting late for work. So, we knew that we were going to have to get rides and, you know, use people as personal taxis. Taxis are too expensive, so we just use other people that we know. And pay them like 2 or $3 to get where we need to go. Or we walk. So... One day, my mom was at work, and she waited on this guy. We'll call him, I'm so bad at cover-up names. We'll call him Steve. Steve Jobs, no, okay, Steve. We'll call him Steve. And so Steve... He was a humble little lonely guy. We could tell, oh my god, the light exposure in here was bad. I'm trying to look. 
lower it. So I don't look like a poop. Gross! So I still look like a ghost, but um, anyway, I honestly don't know why I'm eating this, I really don't. Anyways, so, anyways, so this guy was off. He was nerdy. He had big bushy eyebrows, a flat giant nose, and he was missing this front tooth. You can already tell he's nerdy, he's geeky, he's weirdo. And so, he was selling a car for $1,500. I'm just gonna give you a little hint of the car. It was a teal Saturn. 20 years old Saturn. That was teal. And so, me and my mom never expected to have this Saturn, but when she waited on him, he kind of asked her like, how are you? She said, good. And then she said, my car got totaled. And he's like, oh, do you have any rides and all that? And she said, no, we're looking to buy a cheap car. He said, I'll make a deal with you. Mind you, he doesn't know us. He, that little he detail in mind. And so, when my mom came home, she was like, oh my God, I found a car for sale that we can use. I need to meet him and all that. So the next day, this guy's at our house and asking us about the car. And a few hours later, I'm going to fast forward this few hours later. Oh my God. I told you I was coming back out in a few. Did you eat that? Papa said it could. His fault. Anyway, by the way, anyways, so this guy was at our house asking us, okay. So basically, fast forward this a few more minutes. A guy, this guy put insurance on the car for us. He paid for it for us and everything. He got it all prepared and all that. And then he gave this car to us to use for two months. And then we get to decide if we want to buy it or not. We still have this car. He gave it to us on December 4th. 4th, 5th, or 6th. Oh my god. What is this circular for? Anyway. So, fast forward a month, we go to this guy's house and this dude is already really creepy and really weird and really awkward and really lonely. So yeah, we were in his house. And so, um, 
this guy gave me really weird vibes, and so his house was really weird. So basically, he let us in, he showed us around, and right off the bat, I was like, we're going to die today. Because this guy was really awkward and really weird, and I just really didn't trust him. Because, like, his house looked like a horror movie house. Okay. And his bathroom definitely did. His bathroom didn't have a shower. Oh. Why am I so chubby in camera? And so basically, I'm going to do the rest of the video like this. And so basically, well, this feels so good. And so basically, um, this guy let us in and he showed us around. And I just didn't really get really good vibes from him. I mean, he was a nice guy. He didn't have any kids or anything. So, I mean, yeah. Ow, ow. So yeah, he just gave me really creepy vibes and I did not like him, I did not trust him because we didn't even know him, he didn't know me, he didn't know my name, he didn't even know my mom's name. And so yeah. No! No! He tried to throw water on me. Hey! I don't like coffee. Just kidding, I love coffee. Well, whatever, then you lied to me. Anyways. So, yeah. And so, I, I sat up to go to the bathroom to his house. In, in the bathroom. And, like, he pulled my waist and I thought, oh my god, this is it. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. And then I turn around and he's like, honey, why are your, like, you have something on your pants on the sides of you. I was like, <gasps> you scared the crap out of me for that, for, oh my God. Don't move very on or your boobs are going to jump. <sighs> Can't even see anything. And so, yeah. That was what the title in the whole video was about. This guy reaching on my waist because I had some white stuff on my pants. 13 minute video for that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye!